like I'm going to the club, right? Wrong. I am on vacation. It is me, myself, and the Holy Spirit. And I'm about to lay in this bed and watch Dr. Pimple Popper, okay? I did my devotions. I read my Bible. I ate real good. And I've been driving all day and I got plans. I got a lot of plans for the next few days. So I think I'm just going to rest. Yes, this is my nightgown. It's not even a club dress. It's a nightgown. I'm going to go lay my body down. Y'all thought I was playing? I wasn't playing. I'm really out here finding peace, okay? But look at look at all my books. This is really how I live my life. I just, I love journals. So I got all my pens and highlighters and stuff. And I got my devotional, my prayer book, my affirmation book. <laughs> my schedule, which is totally full for the rest of the week. Um, <laughs> um, I was actually going to start doing this one I bought it a while ago but because I have this one I haven't really because they're just prompts it's like a lot of self-help prompts so got those and of course I got my Bible because you never know when you gonna hear that you need to open that bad boy up and I'm sitting here watching baby sharks on um, National Geographic and this is literally the definition of a good life and then not to toot my own horn or anything but this might be impressive to y'all. I got, I made sure I got like a cool hotel. I've never been in this kind of hotel before. So if you see like the bed is up, I have an adjustable base at home. So I was like, oh, we got to be adjustable at the hotel. What? Wait, put me up. Put me up. It might be cool to y'all. I got one of these at home. But it, it moves differently than the one I got at home, but whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch shark documentaries. I might go out later. I might. That really just depends if I wanna put on clothes for real. It's hot out there, y'all. Be safe, drink your water. That's what I'm doing. Watching sharks, drinking water, and minding my business. Mm, glory, glory. Hmm. <sighs> So I told y'all all 2023, I've been working on being present, right? So we are in July. So that's seven months of me consciously working on being present. And I had to laugh because I'm laying here, enjoying TV, enjoying resting. And I've got my agenda open, planning for the next vacation. Like literally making an itinerary, y'all. A whole itinerary for my next vacation, but like dumb. You kind of blew off one, two, three of the plans you had for this itinerary today because you wanted to lay in the bed and plan your next one. Like, you are failing at being present, my G. You are failing. Try again, Domine. You are shit. She's a bad girl. <laughs> Such a bad seed. What the heck, man? Does this mean I should go out? I think it does. I did have it on my itinerary to go out. Let me see. I can still make karaoke on a rooftop bar. You know what? Maybe I should go to the roof because they have a rooftop pool here. Maybe I'll go swim. I don't want to go swimming. I don't want to do nothing. I want to go downstairs and get some more of that dessert. I know they had some kind of chocolate tart that would probably really do it for me. With a little coffee. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Because the other plants I definitely miss. No, they have a... I'm gonna do some Google work. <laughs> so after this, I ended up just going downstairs, getting some coffee. I checked out the rooftop bar, but they were closed. So I couldn't even like sit up there and just breathe in the air. And it was cold outside. I think it was raining that day. So I ended up getting coffee and then coming back to my room, continuing watching shark shows and went to sleep. 
Good morning, world. You know who it is, and you know we on vacation. So take this shot with me. The culture never stops, okay? Just what we're drinking changes. Again, today I have the genius consciousness. Why? Because I didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to last night. I'm not even going to lie about it. So I'm about to be up. Let's get that brain active. I got to get on the road because I got things to do today. But uh, take the shot with me. Ready? Pinky out. Wait, look him in the eye. Cheers pinky out or or not so today i'm going to the first ever it was the first ever korean spa in the united states yes yes i am and i'm really excited i'm trying to get there early enough to get a korean body scrub because i want to see what it's like like i'm already soft but i hear like it takes off years and years of dead skin and I, I exfoliate, but we're going to see. Because, I mean, if I could get softer, I'm all the way with it, okay? Soft girl era. This is really good. Like, the effects of it are worth it. It's very much equivalent to how we treat alcohol, you know? Like, you take it, you're like, oh, that's not really that good. But then you like, zoot it, you know? <laughs> so, I'm going to go to the spa. I'm going to be there probably all day. Check my fit, check my fit. I did green earrings to match my green waist beads. Yes, I made these. Yes, I make these. You know where to find them at. So with that said, uh, it's time for me to get on the road because it's gonna be a little bit of a drive. And I've, of course, gotta find coffee and something to put on my stomach before I go in there. It's, okay, so remember when I went to the spa in Germany and everybody was naked? Okay, well, I wasn't naked then, but also I ain't look like this. So I might be naked today. I'm just saying. Then they got the hottest sauna in the US. Um, I'm probably gonna go in there for a little while after I do my devotion because I told you guys, saunas feel like hell. And if you get in the hottest sauna in the US, you will understand that you need to be a better person, okay? It, it, that's just how my brain works. Also like global warming, you know? So just keep it in mind. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll take you guys with me to where I can take you. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good time. And worst case, if you miss it, hit me on my TikTok. I'm probably my YouTube. Alright. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great day. Alright, y'all. So praise God we made it to our destination. Yes, I did put on a shirt because I had to go to Starbucks, okay? And I got my bag filled with stuff. Tom, what you got in that bag? What you got in that bag? Um, a whole lot of devotionals and books. And my Bible, of course, because can't go anywhere without that that's just who i am now so it looks like i'm going hiking but i'm going to the spa <laughs> all right y'all so i signed up for the korean body um scrub and a facial and everything it's at 12 30 it's 12 20 i gotta hurry up get naked and get in the shower literally take off everything and get in the shower i am excited this is gonna be different and yes i'm going to be fully nude Ooh. Okay, y'all, so I did mention that this is for the DC trip, and it was. However, I got highly recommended the King Spa in Chantilly, Virginia, which was maybe like an hour and a half, two hours away from where I was staying in DC. It came highly recommended via TikTok, so I made sure that I stopped by. How it goes is you walk in, I think it's $50 for the whole day, and you can stay till like 8, 9 o'clock at night, and then you have access to all the outside pools and the saunas, all of that. When you get in, you go to the locker room and that's where you can schedule your Korean body scrub. I got the Korean body scrub and the gold facial. I think the total was about $150 and I do not regret a second of it. It was such an amazing experience. Then after that, they have food. They have um, a whole bunch of different rooms with different therapeutic things, different sauna temperatures and such, different types. In one of these videos, I mentioned the wet sauna and that's in the locker room and it is like, like choky, like you can't breathe, but I'm sure I'll touch on that later. All right, I'm going up to the pool. Going up to the pool. There it goes. Now, this is a view of some of the outside pools. And when I tell you guys, it was like the perfect day to be out there. And that's where all the men and everybody else was at, okay? If you like chocolate, this is the place. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go, girl. 
I, yo, let me tell you, I got that Korean body scrub. Um, if you never had one before, get you one of these. This is when I went upstairs to the food court. So in the food court, they have all sorts of um, Japanese dishes that you can order. They also have like regular American food. I got fruits. I got a honey green tea. The way those something I just sat there in my is very nice. The last and one I want is in the, the, uh, the wet one. I highly recommend no it. Good. No good at all. I was in there praising, praying, and repenting. I was like, oh, no, this ain't it. This ain't it. So these are just some pictures I took where my nicely scrubbed body, I'm shining in the sun, did a little video outside at the pool, just taking some BTS so that you guys can have this video. I was very happy. It was so nice. They have so many different jets that you can go in front of. This is me trying some of the, the jets that are more like showers and they all have different um, frequencies of how fast and hard the water comes out. Some of them were like getting beat up especially considering like my neck but <laughs> i had a really good time it was quite relaxing and and even though i did go alone i was still super content uh, i made friends while i was there and it, there was a whole bunch of people to connect with if you if that's your thing so we had you know a little small talk in the jacuzzis and then and the saunas and such so even you can go alone and you'll still be just fine. Okay, so this is footage on the inside of the sauna rooms. So on every angle, there's different sorts of saunas with different types of heating as well as different temperatures. This is the gold one. Then I go upstairs and that's where the food court is as well as a massage room if you're into that. And they also have like a movie theater and all the different sorts of saunas. So this one, it's like a warm room, but it's more therapeutic. And you kind of just rest on these little rocks. I thought it was the coolest thing. You're also not supposed to bring your phone in this room in particular. I didn't see that message, so it's not about you. So, my bad. And FYI, you leave with a whole bunch of little blocks on your body. So, like, make sure you shake real good for you. So this one I took a picture of. You can pause it if you want to, but I took a picture of it to show what that room was exactly for. This is the pot that, you, that I'm going to sit on. So I did a yoni cleanse. This was my first time ever. You can see it was very hot down there. They kind of put you in like a tent almost and you keep the heat in. You can also add like dried centipede to it. And supposedly it has all these benefits. I didn't though. All right, y'all. It's been 40 minutes of me sitting on a hot pot. I got hot cakes. I got everything is hot. I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. Lady, help me get up. I can't get up. Look, I can't even find the floor. Like, look. <laughs> look she gave me a fan to air it. Like, yo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> So after I was done with the spa, I had to rush a little bit to get ready to go to the restaurant Lardente in DC, where I had all sorts of great foods. These are like scallops with gold leafing on it and caviar. Oh, so good. Oh my goodness. I had a fantastic dinner all by myself. They have a 40 layer lasagna, which is famous over there. The Kentucky Lover Bee. I'm a super lover, so I checked and I saw that I had to have it, so I did. And it was it had um like a smoked brisket, so good. And then I had to try both of the desserts. I did the chocolatey one was really really good. It was a chocolate mousse. 
with raspberry roasted raisin and raspberry lemons and lemon around it. And because I was by myself, the waiter even put like a little sparkler in it. It was so cute. He did such a good job. Okay, y'all. Today has been amazing. Amazing. All the way through. Let's start by saying the Korean body scrub. Everybody do it. Find the nearest one near you. I was literally laying on our table. I've been thinking so many thoughts today because like it's just me and all the spirit. Like, so it's like I've, I've got so many thoughts flowing and like for whatever reason Beyonce was on my mind heavy in the spot. And I'm like, yo, like you shouldn't have to be Beyonce to experience this. Like, what are we doing? Find a Korean body, uh, anyone that does a Korean body scrub near you and go experience it for yourself. Totally worth it. I don't regret a second of it. I did that. I got a facial and I did, and I got a massage. And and then I just enjoyed the spa for the rest of the day. I've taken more showers today than I'd like to admit. I've probably taken about eight showers today. Yeah. So then after that, I went to the saunas and that was nice. I read a lot of uh, one of the books that I'm reading right now in the saunas. I literally was sweating everywhere. It was great. I did not go in the hottest sauna in the USA. Simply because, number one, the, the entrance to it was like this big. Like, you had to bend down and, and crouch to get in a... I got... Mm -mm, mm -mm. I need to be up straight at all times. And number two, like, the regular hot saunas were bad enough, y'all. I was in dry saunas. I was in a wet sauna. I was in a wet sauna. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of, like, Dante's Inferno, but he talks about, like, the nine layers of hell or whatever and how each one is different so like there's a cold hell there's a hot hell there's a wet hell like there's different kind of hells uh yeah that um wet sauna was hell you had to open your mouth to breathe and when you did it was like like you know in the cold when you open your mouth and steam come out it was like it has to be like it needless it was just bad it was just bad like it was just bad. i had set up initially for 15 minutes i did 12 of those minutes and I could not, like, and I'm one of those, like, balls to the wall type person. I say it's this long, that's how long it's going to be. I said, no, get me out of here. This ain't it. I literally sat in there with my head down like this, y'all. At one point, it was like I was slobbing because it's just, like, everything is just wet and fall. It was, it was terrible. It was terrible. And I was in there, in the nude. Like, it was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> I will say I did enjoy the the naked part of the spa. I thought that was really fun today because it was like a bathhouse. The one in Germany, they had men and women together and everybody was just naked together. Kids too? Nah. This one, the naked part was just women. So it's like in a female bathhouse. And I was like, wow, I wonder if this is what life was like, like before like <sighs> colonialism. Good afternoon, world. It's nice to see you again. I'm glad I woke up. Glad you woke up. How are you? I'm all right. It's raining out here. It's raining. Look at the outfit. I'm supposed to go to the museum today. Outfit. Going to the museum of the Bible today. And it's raining. I'm gonna still make the best of it though, cause it's 90 degrees and raining. So it's not even like, oh, put on a coat. Like, no. So yeah. We're gonna go do that. And that's gonna take a little while. I don't like that there's nowhere to park out here for free. Mm. Jersey got your girl spoiled, cause this ain't it. Yes, I got my uh, consciousness drink again. Cheers, salute. Thank you, y'all. Go on. But in true New Year, New Me fashion, I'm not gonna complain, I'm gonna go outside. If it rain, I got a coach umbrella that's gonna catch it. We will be okay. I'm really excited to go. Believe it or not, so this trip is, y'all know, I'm out here with the Holy Spirit. It's based around um, a praise experience that I'm going to in a few days. And it was so ironic to me because as I was looking for things to do, I love planning. I love itineraries. I think that's part of my control issue is that I like to plan so much that I don't, that I be thinking that I'm really in control of my life and like god is in control of my life but that's that's beside the point those those are uh, bedroom conversations pillow talk <laughs> so i was planning it and as i was doing it i was on groupon and i pulled it up and they said that the museum of the bible is here and i was like ironic so yeah totally bought tickets for 15 dollars and they have a show there too and if i can get there by two i can make it to the show i'm so i'm so i'm so i'm so i'm so proud of you i'm so i'm so i'm so
so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you Everything's adding up, you've been through hell and back That's why you're bad as fuck and you know you are Okay, so these are some tips for going to the Museum of the Bible. Um, if you get on Groupon, you only pay like $15. However, they check the closing times because that day it closed a little early. And so I didn't get to experience every single floor. What I will say is start from the top floor down. When you get to the bottom floor, it's like the history of like slavery and the Bible and all that. Okay, start from the top so you actually get the word. Like they have Old Testament, New Testament, and you walk through this like visual experience it's kind of like being in the movies but you're walking through so it's an entire play that you're watching but you need to start from the top down that bottom floor uh, it's something to do but you don't really need it so it's it's not as much of a big deal as the things that are going on up top and i hear that there's food up there too but unfortunately because the closing hours were funny i didn't get to experience the food I'm literally looking at the dessert menu and I haven't touched my food. <laughs> so this is a Greek Lebanese restaurant called Zaytinia. It's not too far from the Museum of the Bible. I found it on a whim. The food was fantastic. I highly recommend the Brussels sprouts. They were amazing. Um, they kind of reminded me, oddly enough, of like McDonald's french fries. It was so strange, but they were so good, and I'm sure they're much better for you. The baba ganoush was good, and their drinks were fantastic. I had a mint cucumber drink. It was so good. For dessert, I had the Turkish chocolate, which was really good. It was quite rich, so I'd advise uh, sharing it, but I was alone, so I kind of didn't have a choice. But I tore that up. You can eat inside or outside. I chose to eat outside. It was really nice. You can still see like the streets of DC while you eat, but it's secluded enough to where it's not so much. But there were a lot of birds flying around, like little cute birds. But they didn't they didn't bother me at all. So it was a good time. I also had the shish kebab and that was really nice too on like a hot plate. So after that, I went to a live performance called Drunk Shakespeare. I found it on Groupon too. It was anywhere between $25 and $30. It was a really good time. They tell different stories every night. It's kind of improv but they do stick to the story, and they also give you context. They do all of the monologues. It was a really good time. Yes, it is based around drinking, so if you drink, like, this is the place to be. They serve you drinks, and they really promote it. But I had my little ginger ale and I was having a good time all by myself. It was nice to watch the show. They're hilarious. They're very animated. It was a great time all the way around. They even have like a little puppet that they use. It was so good. So I would highly advise that you go to see Drunk Shakespeare. Who knows? You might see Hamlet. You might see Romeo and Juliet. Who's to say? Afterwards, I took myself to a hookah lounge that I found on Yelp. Shout out to Yelp. It was really nice. The music was great later on that week. You can watch TV or whatever you want to do, but the hookah was really good. Then I went back to the hotel and watched the Patrick Starr show all night long. Um, I didn't like it. I'm just saying. If it's not SpongeBob, I don't want it. Then for the main event. So this is pictures in front of the um, the Washington Monument. And we went to a, an event for Christian music in the park. And when we went, it was raining. And then it stopped raining. And there was just a whole bunch of performances. I downloaded a lot of the artist's music. It was really good. And it was just a really nice alternative to listening to secular music. It was good. I would recommend Selvi. That's Selvi right there. If you like like XXX Tentacion, Selvi is like the Christian version. It's so dope. And they really live what they're talking about. Afterwards, like I joined their their group and they have Bible studies. I've spoken to a lot of people in the congregation. Like they're really about the mission. 
So it was nice being there and being able to support and also downloading the music. I added all to a place playlist and then throughout my day sometimes I put the playlist on and just hit shuffle. And every now and then there's something that really resonates with me that I like moving forward. So it was a really nice experience and you don't have to listen to that music. Like you can praise God and still live your regular life. You don't have to listen to that music. The beats were all hard. Everybody's beats were tough. So it was a good time. They even had like a little girl before and this is my favorite one. And she was so cute. It was such a good time. I loved it. It was very family friendly. All the lyrics were clean. It was a nice place to be. So I enjoyed myself. Okay guys, so that is my vlog for the day for my trip to DC. I, like I said, I stopped in Virginia a little bit. It was a really nice time. I'm from Jersey, so it wasn't a super far drive. I enjoyed it a lot and I really got in touch with myself and the Holy Spirit. So I was very pleased by the end of this. I had a really good time and it taught me that you can have fun alone. You don't always have to be with somebody because technically you always are with somebody. So. I loved it. Uh, check out the next vlog and I'll see you later.